beds, food, drink and clothing and AK-47s found by the JMPD in an underground mine. Uh, this is in Storm Mill near Rudaport, I understand. This is in a, a recent raid. That's what you're seeing there. It might look like it's above ground, but actually this is all underground. Uh, you've got to start asking the question, though. In the fight uh, with illegal mining, it's actually been called a war. Who is actually winning? Is it the authorities or is it the Zama Zamas uh, at the moment? Well, let's find out. So I'm joined and great to have her on the show. JMPD Acting Police Chief uh, Angie Mokasi making time to come in. Angie, morning. Good to have you on ENCA. Appreciate uh, the time. So maybe let's start with that question. The sense you get, who's winning this war at the moment? Good morning. Good morning to you, uh, Gareth, and the viewers at home. Um, maybe let me start by emphasizing that um, the mandate of JMPD is by law enforcement and crime prevention. Uh, the rehabilitation of the mine, it sits with the Department of uh, um, Mineral Resource and mm. Energy. So our approach as the law enforcement is zero approach based on the the, the, the criminalities that revolves around the illegal mining. So currently the city is led by the executive mayor, Councillor Gomanda, who is in engagement with the department on the processes of, amongst others, the shutting down of the shafts. So as to your question, I can say that currently the law enforcement is, is winning. Mm. Help me understand, because there has been a little bit of confusion, and this provides some clarity for me, Angie. So, obviously, we've got the government dealing with this, the Department of Mineral and Resources, JMPD, and obviously SAPS. Where does JMPD end, and where does SAPS step in? I'm just trying to understand the dissolvement of powers here. Who's doing what between the two organizations? Look, um, uh, as JMPD, together with SAPS, we constantly having a uh, joint operations. Mm. Um, mostly they are led by the provincial commissioner. But when it comes to the video that is circulating, I also need to clear uh, the issue that it is in because on social media platform there's an indication that um, that video is from the Bree Street explosion. Mm -hmm. So in, the, in fact the, that video is from the, like you indicated that it's from the, it's called this the, the Central uh, Rand Gold Mine. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the mine stopped operating since early 2019. So it has been abandoned. So um, I guess the 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 Zamazamas took advantage of the, the the mine that has shut down and took over the mine. So that has been um, what is happening. So uh, on the day in question, um, I think it was on the 5th of August, where we had an operation led by our MMC of Public Safety in the city of Johannesburg, uh, Councillor Dr. Um, Chwaku. Um, we went to all the identified hotspots and um, our information led us to this particular area. Mm. Um, when we approached the, 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 the area, we were confronted by heavily armed um, illegal miners. So there was actually a shootout between sure. ourselves and the illegal miners and we all know that they are carrying high caliber firearms. So we persuaded them and then they ran into a, f a, a field. Um, we kept on the chase, still um, um, shooting uh, continued between ourselves as law enforcement and the illegal miners. And then it led us to the shaft in question. So they ran into the shaft. And you just followed them in? Then we followed them in. And still in the shaft, the shooting still continued. So uh, fortunately, to answer your question, um, law enforcement was the last man standing because mm. uh, we managed to shoot one um, illegal miner who was then declared dead on the scene and then we arrested uh, one and we recovered a whole lot of firearms. I think it was six, um, five high caliber firearms, one shotgun and, and a pistol. And oh, is JMPD armed for this? So as you say, I mean, you it turned into a, a shootout uh, between Zama Zama's AK-47s, as you quite rightly say, high caliber firearms and JMPD. Is this a separate unit of JMPD that's having to go down into these mine shafts because primarily they're armed with just a sidearm? Uh, it seems the firefight isn't quite fair. Mm -hmm. Look, the, the guys that um, were, were conducting <coughs> this operation were actually heavily armed. Okay. They were in, yeah, in possession of um, 
uh, the heavily uh, the rifles mm, actually high so here high caliber firearms. Uh, how much of the manpower that ordinarily goes into law enforcement for JMPD is now being focused on Zama Zamas? Or is this leaving gaps elsewhere now that you're having to also focus on the fight with Zama Zamas? What's your manpower looking like? What's the split? Look, um, we currently actually we prioritizing uh, dealing with Zamazamas. Um, on average, we'll dedicate around 100 officers, and then we'll get get a supplement from SAPS. So on daily basis, we conducting uh, um, disruptive operations. Um, we all know that uh, the areas that are affected is your road report area, which mm -hmm. is Region C, and your 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 uh, Region B, which is next to uh, Rivoli, uh, where we call the place that we call Zamimpilo. Mm -hmm. And then there's also a a part uh, at a lower scale in, in, in Region F. Uh, so, yeah, we will then divide our manpower uh, according to the operations of the day uh, together with SAPS. Mm. And when we now talk about uh, you having been there, the officers have been there, you, surely you must have a sense of the scale of these mine shafts. I mean, just the video. Uh, this is not a small hole in the ground. There's an entire operation there. This is going to carry on forever, isn't it? Until whoever it is, maybe it's the mines, maybe it's the Department of Mineral and Resources, actually closes these shafts down. This is going to be a problem for you for years, isn't it? Absolutely, but as law enforcement will keep on enforcing um, the law around the, the legal illegal mining, and and like you say, um, the, the 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 mining question, it's actually we uncovered we call it a HQ of illegal mining, mm. because uh, what we found there it was just a whole of lot of equipment. Uh, some of the videos that are circulating actually we suspect that they have been uh, recorded from that mine where you have seen um, the guys holding high caliber firearms mm. and singing. So our suspicion is we might managed to track um, the HQ of the illegal mining. Do we know there's a, there's a common held belief uh, that most, if not all, of the Zama Zamas are illegal foreign nationals? Is that your sense? Is that something you, you, you understand? It? Look, uh, what then, when we look into the arrests that we have, uh, we, have um, we, we have arrested a lot of illegal uh, immigrants. Mm. They come from our neighboring countries. It would be your Lesotho, your Zimbabwe, etc. Mm. Yeah, so. so what happens with them once they're handed over? I understand that the arrests are made on your side, but do you have a sense of do they end up going back to their own countries or are they tried uh, by our courts in our country? Do you understand maybe if there's a process involved there? There is a process that has unfolded um, through the Justice Department. Uh, yeah. A any idea how long it takes for someone who is an illegal foreigner that you've uh, arrested as a Zama Zama, how long for that, uh, that process to take place? Is this years, couple of months? Has it been expedited? Probably it will take a few months because we really need to deal with the, the illegal uh, mining issue decisively so um, mm. we hope that the Department of, of, of um, Justice mm. will also uh, assist us in dealing with such and make sure that uh, the perpetrators mm. are faced with mm. uh, consequences. Uh, just the last question to you uh, then Angie, do you think your job would be made easier if the President brought the army into this fight? Right now it's JMPD of course having these firefights, the SAP is getting involved when they need to would the army not make your life easier as well? Look, I guess it will. Uh, it will be a force multiplier. It will make our life easier. Uh, however, I think at the moment we're managing with the special task force from SAPS, JMPD, SAPS, ordinary officers. Yeah. Mm. I'm, I'm just a little tight on time. I do want to just squeeze this last question in. Those being arrested, do we know if these are kingpins or are these, these just the ground runners? We're not getting to the kingpins yet. Yeah, it's ground runners. Mm. Yeah. I suspect it's ground runners. So the fight continues, the hunt continues. Yeah, the hunt still continues. Angie, thank you for coming in. Almost an impossible task, but I appreciate you coming in. Some clarity. I didn't realize it got quite so uh, dramatic uh, during that uh, build up to the video you were watching a second ago. A shootout between JMPD and Zama Zamas above ground and also underground in that mine shaft uh, near Storm Mill uh, near Rodeport. My thanks to the JMPD acting police chief, uh, Angie Mokasi, not just having to now look after law enforcement on the roads, of course, but now having to chase around uh, Zama Zama's.